and here is our rack and this is an actual uh, 1900 series catalyst switch try to focus on the title there and you can see here are all of our ports so those are the ethernet ports and then here's the fast ethernet and then chunk port A and B it's all labeled out quite nicely and I'm just gonna show it from a power up state here so we'll force it to go into a learning state you can see what the LED configuration looks like okay and all the lights turn up boot up and they're green it's going into the learning state And down there's our 2500 routers and our 2900 series router. A couple other switches up top there, but and those are fast Ethernet. And again, there's that 50 second interval. Um, as it goes through the learning state looking for devices connected to it. And then any devices plugged into any ports would have their MAC addresses stored in the forward filter table. Okay, and now it's finished going through the learning state. And now it's ready to configure its ASICs and provide connections and separate collision domains for devices and hosts plugged into it. And then now we're behind our rack. And if you can see, this is the back of the 2900. And there is, right here where my finger is, there's the console port. And again, you can log into that same as you could a router. And again, to connect to the port, Here's our USB to RS-232 9-pin serial adapter. And we're just going to plug that into our laptop. This is just an inexpensive netbook. And the RS-232 9-pin port goes to a DB9 and rollover adapter. And we're going to use this to connect to our 1900 Catalyst switch. So that goes into the console port here on the switch. Alright, now you can see now we're connected. Now we're just going to use Hyper Terminal. And now we're just going to open up TerraTerm. And I'm going to select a serial connection and COM7, my prolific USB to serial adapter. And now I'm logged into the switch, the 1900 catalyst switch there. And let's see. No idea what they configured on this switch the last time for a password. And all right, it looks like it was no password. So let's log in and we'll select here, um, we can modify password and we'll make it Kiwi. And let's see, let's go out to the main menu 
And let's look at the system settings. And exit to main menu. And let's look at port configuration. What happened? They just now brought food.